guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a hair tutorial on this look right here. It's actually called the C curl and if you follow Korean trends, you would see that um, it's very popular in Korea. It's just like a natural blowout kind of look. And in Korea, there's actually a perm that you can do to permanently, um, I guess, perm your hair to this kind of style. But if you don't want to commit like me and you just kind of want to style your hair as you go, I have a tutorial for you that will help you achieve this look. So what I'm going to be using is my Dyson hair wrap or Dyson air wrap with the round volumizing brush attachment. Now before I got this, I used to use just a regular hair dryer and a volumizing brush. So I basically use a volumizing brush like this and I would blow out my hair using the hair dryer but honestly this way is a lot more time consuming and your hand just starts to cramp up after doing it for a while so I've been really liking my air wrap for this you can honestly use any device that just has the round brush attachment that will blow heat out of it as you style it and it'll probably work but I have the Dyson air wrap and I'm going to be using this for today's tutorial so without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial. So you're just going to divide your hair into two parts. Um, you can just do it casually, it doesn't need to be perfect. And I'm going to start on the left side of my hair. Um, you're just going to split it into two sections and clip up the top part. Okay, so after that, um, I'm just going to start off with the bottom half of one of my sections. So I'm gonna grab the base and the round brush. I'm just gonna attach that. And I always use the highest heat setting and always also the highest fan setting. I'm just gonna do that for today as well. And basically, I just start off with a small section like this. You don't wanna grab too much because it's gonna fall out of the brush. But just grab a chunk to start and then you'll probably get used to how much you how much hair you can wrap around the barrel. So I'm just gonna start at the root. Basically put your brush at the root and then wrap your hair once around. Turn on the Dyson and pull straight through and just do a little pause at the end to create that C. Okay, here I go. So I guess a better way to explain it is you're basically going to start at the roots and then you're going to wrap your hair around and as you pull through, it's going to give you that straightening effect and then once you're at the bottom, you kind of have to um, like rotate your brush a bit so that your hair doesn't fall out but after you think you've had enough heat, you just do the little cool shot push this button all the way up and then just leave it on for like 3 seconds and pull it out and then once you pull it out, you'll have a nice C curl so I'm just gonna demonstrate it on a couple more strands so you guys can see it better And now you're just going to repeat that for the whole bottom section of your hair. So now I've finished off the bottom section of my hair. I'm just going to unclip the top and do the top portion. So I'm just going to Clip off the top and basically do the same thing. So I just finished doing one side of my hair. You can see the nice C 
see curl effect on the bottom here and also my layers are pretty accentuated and I'm just gonna worry about doing my bangs a little later because I have to do a different method for my bangs so I'm just gonna do the other side of my hair and I'll be right back so I just did the rest of my hair and now I'm gonna do my bangs um, for my bangs, instead of doing it separately, I actually just combine um, everything and do it in a forward motion. So I take my round brush and I kind of follow the same method that we were doing before. I just wrap my hair around, I turn on the air, and then I pull through making sure the ends are nice and curled. And then I do the cool shot and then I let go. So. Start from the roots, wrap it around, and I'm going to turn it on. Now my bangs are really long, so I basically worked on the longer part of my bangs right now, but I'm going to go in a second time just grab a little less of a chunk and I'm just going to focus on the shorter part of my bangs. You can see that created a lot of volume and a little bit of shape. And then after I'm done with that, I usually go in and touch up some layers that I might have missed. And if I just grab the top portion of my hair, the top layer, um, you can just see that some are a little bit straighter than others. So I'm just going to go in and touch up the rest of my hair. So the final final step that I'm going to do is I'm just going to give my roots some volume and I'm just going to make sure my hairline is straight and where I want it. I kind of do it a little bit to the left and I'm just going to grab a thin piece of hair along my hairline and I make sure not to grab too much because I find that if I try to do it with too much hair, it actually ends up weighing my hair down and it doesn't create the volume that I want. Um, so after you grab that chunk of hair, you're basically just going to put your brush against it and kind of push it out towards the other side of your hairline. Leave it there with some heat, do the cool touch, and then you're just going to pull it out. And then after you pull it out, you should have a little bit of more volume on the top of your head. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. You turn it off and then you just pull it straight out. You see how much volume that added? And I'm just going to repeat that on the other side. So now that your hair is nicely styled, you're going to want to go in with like a hair serum or an oil. I usually use the Briogeo Farewell Frizz. And this smells really nice and it just keeps my hair nice and glossy. So I've been liking this one so far. A little goes a long way for this. So I'm just going to put the tiniest amount, rub it between my palms, and then just run it through my hair. You're going to want to focus it on the ends because if you go too close to the roots, it kind of makes your hair look oily and greasy. So just focus on the ends to give a nice, finishing touch so this is the final look I hope you guys found it helpful I definitely did a lot of research before I kind of mastered this myself once I got the Dyson Airwrap it made my life so much easier because I can just do this hairstyle in basically 10 minutes um, and the good thing about it is that you can actually do it on damp hair because it's basically a uh, blowout that you're doing or you can do it in completely dry hair as you've seen today. So I hope you guys like this hair tutorial and please stay tuned if you want to see more videos like this. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!